Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today I'm with no stranger to the channel, Randy Smalley. Randy, good to see you again. Lou, good to see you too. Always a treat when we're with Randy. Now you say iconic cars, you say a car that I've been waiting for. I just drove four hours one way to come and see Randy's car. So that'll tell you how excited I am to see this car. Randy, without further ado, tell them what we're going to be unveiling. The uh, brand new Ford GT. The brand new Ford GT. So let me put the cover on it with this one. First of all, why did you have to get this one? Um, I made an application for one and they said yes. How could I refuse? <laughs> <laughs> you also have a 2005. That, that's correct. And, and uh, that was one of the pretty uh, big criteria when they chose who could buy the new ones is who bought the old ones. And Ford also said that you needed to be on YouTube and the social media, and thankfully we had that car on social media so they could see that. Yes. So now let's show the new Ford. Step right alongside me, we'll right. talk. Now, I love this feature of your car. They give you a optional factory cover that we put on it to unveil it. And tell me about this right here. This is great what you said. That's the uh, VIN number of the car. It's uh, a 2017, that's the 43rd car built. Uh, it was actually built in the 30th position, which matches my 06, which is serial number 30, which I thought was kind of kind of for to do that. That was very nice of you. But you told me something that, uh, about where we were putting the cover on. What'd you say about it? Um, the reason they put these VIN numbers on your uh, cover is in case you have two, you know which one to uncover. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, we need to. So let's unveil okay, here we go. the car. I'm going to let you pull it back. There's a little bit of a science to it. Okay, go ahead. You do the science. I'm going to sit back and enjoy. Correctly. It's a very soft cover, so unfortunately, it's going to be scratch the vehicle. My heart's actually beating a little faster. Wow. That's, that's just wonderful. I'd like to first of all thank Ford and their designers for doing this again. And just let me show you all the detail in the lights without it being on. We're going to show you with the lights on in a second. This wonderful venting. Look at even carbon fiber weave here. The car is all fiber, carbon fiber. Just look at the beauty of that mirror alone. Really? Supercar, you can actually see out of the mirrors. Very nice. Angle here, it goes all the way to the back. I want to take one step back so people can take that angle in. Those vents on the side are for the intercoolers, the oil cooler and the intercooler for the engine. Okay. Tell me a little story with these calipers, too. There's something special about the red. Well, when I uh ordered this car, um, I wanted it to look exactly like my 05, which had red calipers. And originally when I ordered them, ordered them red calipers were not available. So I offered to pay an uh, extra charge for them, which they did. And uh, now red calipers uh, are standard. You gave them the idea, they said, let's do this. Let's step back for one moment. Well, they're carbon fiber brakes, and usually carbon fiber brake calipers are, are yellow. Is there a reason why they're yellow? Just to identify them as carbon fiber. I think Porsche started that back in the day. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I want to show this, and we're going to open that up in a second. That's an EcoBoost V6 twin turbo. 647 horsepower. Does this open several ways? Is it here and there, or how's it? It uh, opens actually with the key. Let's file. do this. Okay, let's uh, let's actually open up the back door there, so I can get. A Go ahead. We'll open the other one too. 
too, if you would. Just so I can... Don't, don't open it. Ooh, I like that. Wait. Do that again. Oh, that's cool. Like a ring of fire. Let me just show inside the exhaust there. It reminds me of the Batmobile from the 60s. Turbine. <laughs> the flame shoots out. Now, you have tracked this car. I have. You might see some uh, tire marks on it that I haven't gotten around to cleaning up yet. How many miles have you put on it? Uh, I think it's up uh, about 1,100 right now. Okay, let me remind people because they're going to wonder if we're going to take it for a ride and... We are. We're going to take it for a ride. So this is the review video. And then uh, we'll have our jollies in the ride video as well. Now, an interesting thing in the ride video, this wing here pops up in track mode. We're going to show you that in a second. But I just want to show you, this is ventilation here. Flows through from the brakes for brake cool. That's amazing. Aerodynamics were the top priority for uh, Ford when they designed this car. Look at all the venting down there. And of course, this is a car that went to Le Mans on the 50th anniversary of Ford's uh, victory there. And won again. And won again with a six cylinder. With a six cylinder. Isn't that amazing? All right, let's pop this. Well, I always say this trunk is. Uh, Oh, that's a trunk. Yes. And as you can see, I always jokingly say, don't take offense, but the only thing you carry in this thing is your dirty thoughts because there's no room for anything else. <laughs> I'm curious, what's in the performance bag? Um, just some, uh, some tools. Okay, there's all right. a battery charger, a special battery. Battery charger, all right. Because it uses a special uh, uh, lithium-ion battery. And uh, there's a few other uh, items in there, a spare tire inflator if you have a flat, things of that nature. All right, let me do the best I can to show this. I guess the six probably works pretty well in there, so. It works really good. Yeah. It doesn't have that, that V8 you know, roar or sound, but it sounds pretty darn good. It sounds pretty good. All right, let's take a look at the interior before we fire it up. I want to show how those doors look too, with them open. Let me just step one, step back, and a little bit more. I got it. Open the door. We can open the other door, sure. Put on my light there. You know what, now I'm going to ask you if you would just shut that for a second. I want people to see what that looks like with those lights on. <sighs> wow. Regular fuel? Regular fuel. What, well, 91 93, or 90, 93? Well, It'll run on 91, but they, it says 93. 93. And open the door. It's an electric door opener. Push in there. Push in and, and pull, pull up. up. Pull the door up. And then that one thing I saw right off the bat is that, which there's that big hole there in the door. Well, underneath the front of the car, if, if you could get up under there, you'll see it's all yeah, open sure. and it's all uh, arrow up there. Those, that screen is a, as an aftermarket accessory to keep the rocks from damaging the side of the car. But that's all open in there now. It's all part of the aerodynamic uh, setup for the car. And interestingly, there's a flap in the front uh, uh, grill that opens and closes depending on the mode that you're in to keep the car balanced. When the wing comes up, it opens this flap to prevent the car from, you know, riding example nose down or nose up. It's 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 pretty sophisticated stuff. I, uh, and you I, drive this on the street besides the track. I do. Yeah. What's the reaction? Um, if you're out driving on the interstate, you end up going about 50 miles an hour because people surround you with uh, with cameras taking your picture and <laughs> slowing you down. So I, I, I haven't been stopped, but if I get stopped, I'm going to tell the officer that I'm going faster than uh, traffic flow for safety reasons. <laughs> for safety reasons. Oh, look at this thing. Yeah. Go ahead. You're going to Interesting share on the interior, the seats are fixed. The seats do not move. The uh, pedal box moves instead for your height. 
And as you can see, the doors, everything's all perfect. Look at that. So, let me just show that from this angle. Okay. And from that angle. All of our, some of you will have to just enjoy the details, or not enjoy the details, let's skip this part. This car is a 2017, and uh, that's what the H stands for, H is the letter series for the year 2017. And again, this is the 43rd uh, chassis number, and they only built uh, somewhere in the range of 120, maybe 125 cars in 2017. They missed their goal of 250. So now they're building 2018s, which you will notice, you see them, you'll see a number J in the next year. The seats feel good. I mean, they feel real nice. All right, I'm going to uh, look over your shoulder while you start it. Okay. <clears throat> And this is the only way to get in it without okay. uh, killing yourself. Okay. But it's actually the, the entry and egress is pretty simple. And over here on the wall, there's a strap, if you can see it right here underneath my leg. And yeah. you pull this, and it pulls the pedal box towards you, it releases the pedal box. And so instead of adjusting the seat, you can turn around and pull the pedal back towards you, or you push it away depending on what you're. Uh, what you want to do. Yes, what you want to do. And I'm going to just turn the ignition on. Let me, you want me to uh, shut that? I can get it. Just that. Okay, so this is the, um, the mode. How did you adjust for, that? There's a button right here. Okay. Oh, but, so this is normal, and you notice that if you shine your camera on there, you'll notice that things change. Miles per hour goes to the center under normal and gear to the right. When you put it into performance, it goes what, to gear, use this? a little rotator wheel. Okay. Now it goes to uh, tell you what gear is in miles, miles per hour to the right. And then if you actually take it over to wet, it changes it again. So all of the things change, the RPMs, the shifting settings, and everything. And there I have 837 miles. 837 that's, that's, miles, okay. That's a, so I apologize, I've got my cars. And then they have uh, another mode over here, it's called track. And when you put it into track mode... Well, this is sport. Well, this is sport. Well, I have to have the I see there's one more under there. Yeah, well, I have to um, I have the engine running to put okay. the track mode. Okay, we have to have it running. Right. What's happening in the center there? Um, this GPS, okay. but also radio, air conditioning, all your, all your controls. Can you turn the GPS off for a second? Uh, yes. No, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't turn off. Okay. There is an on-off switch, but that's probably just the radio. Okay. Yes, that's just the radio. I just want to... No, I'm not going to show that. Okay. And all the controls are on the steering wheel, except for uh, uh, GPS and comfort controls. Everything's up here. Turn signals, windshield wipers, everything. Okay. Let's, uh, can we fire it up while the trunk lid is open, the sure. engine compartment yeah. lid? Okay.
wrench, take it out of track mode. I know that, that spoiler is going to stay up. So up and back to track mode. Back down. Let's uh, give it a little rev in track mode, shall we? other well, while it's in track mode the, the other dashboard you see now it's gone mostly to uh, rpms up on top so what you can do is set it for manual shifting and it shows the different rpm ranges for when you switch your gears one more side please i actually have to take my arm off the car because you're making it shake oh. I won't let you. <laughs> And you'll notice it goes right back to normal boat as soon as it you get it. It popped right back up there into position. But the wing will not go back down until you're going, to, uh, they say 35, but I think actually it's closer to 25. So right out the garage and it's down. Well, what happens is, is it's hydraulic. If somebody would have their fingers in there and went down, it could probably hurt them. Ooh. So they. They thought about that, and they won't allow it. Uh, if anybody uh, can run 25 miles an hour, you can probably get your fingers bent. There you go. So, Randy, an amazing car. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. I, I know we're both looking forward to sharing your car on the channel. Right. If people like what they see, subscribe, hit the bell. You'll see all the cars. Randy's got another one we're going to feature, too. And, of course, we're going to take it on the ride. If you want to see the ride, click the text below. It'll have where the ride video is. Randy, my pleasure. Thanks right. for being at My Car Store. Thank you, Lou.